winning these championships didn't really help Mr. Baxter out. He still had strange dreams at night and started to drown his sorrows in the pub at night. No! Oh, actually, can I have the same again, please? Don't think you've had enough, mate. <gasps> Did you see that? See what? Uh, blue leopard, lots of blue leopards and flying, they're flying blue leopards. And all of this floating mushrooms everywhere and, and uh, oh, a magical rainforest of blue leopards everywhere. What are okay, they doing? Okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, mate. I know, I know. Oh, oh, blue leopards, do you want my time? Hmm, fine blue leopards. He could be onto something there. I know, I'll call it Avatar. After a short walk home that night, Mr. Baxter bumped into Jonathan Kay. This conversation would change life at Penkov High School forever. <laughs> you alright, Mr. Baxter? Uh, I know, uh, strange, strange dream. Yeah, I'm not so good myself, actually. My sister's just started at this new school and she's finding it really difficult to settle in. Uh-huh. Yeah, my brother, you know, Chippy. He's got this French exchange student staying with him. A magician. Everybody hates him. This French exchange student? Is he called Louis? He is, actually. How do you know that? Yeah. This is what I've been dreaming about. I must write this down. I will turn them into scripts. This is my destiny. Right. With three very successful school films in the bag, his dreams were setting in. However, his hopes were dashed with one not very good soap opera. With the grey hairs and afternoon naps now taking a place on his timetable, Mr. Baxter knew it was time to leave. Hello, everybody. I'd like to thank you all for coming here today my special announcement. As you know, I've been in this school for a very long time now. And, um, well, uh, basically, the, there comes a point in everyone's career when, um, when it's time, you know, it's time for me to retire. Thank you.